On the meetings of the emergency committee, the last meeting was on January 22, and then followed by January 23. Then after a few days, uh, they got information and evidence, and they came back. I reconvened again on January 30, and they were then very confident because of the information they collected. And when they decided the global emergency on January 30, uh, they had a consensus to recommend that to me. And this was based on science and uh, evidence. And during that time, on January 30th, the number of cases we had outside China were only 82 cases. And there was no death. So meaning, I repeat again, the world had enough time to intervene. And I can say it again, me and my colleagues believe that, and the emergency committee, this public health emergency, the global emergency on January 30, was actually declared in a timely fashion. Even between 22 January or 23 January and 30 January, we didn't waste any time, we didn't want to waste any time. And as Mike said, we had to move immediately, travel to Beijing immediately to discuss with the leadership and to find, to see for ourselves the situation in China. I remember then people telling us, advising us not to travel to China because this virus is new, you don't know how it behaves, you're putting your life at risk. And we said, no, we go because there are people who are putting themselves at risk in China and elsewhere, so our life is not different from them. We're actually the responsible guys to fight the virus and other outbreaks. So we should put ourselves first, actually, and we will go.